Welcome on to the studios here for STO Sidekicks. I'm Will Ewick, joined alongside accomplished ventriloquist Ashley Gollins. You always have the best lines for me. Thank you. You're good at putting words in my mouth, so I know that you were accomplished. Oh, yeah, there you go. Every woman, pretty much, right? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> you guys went to our Facebook page and weighed in with your opinion on our two questions of the day. The first one, we're talking again about a Browns winning streak, three games now. We want to know who your MVP is. Of the game was. And I, I kind of feel like I'm in a Twilight Zone episode with the Browns winning. I keep <laughs> I thinking I'm going to wake up and I'm going to find like out it. that it's not true. But I kind of like Joe E, not Joey, Joe E, Cordero's comment, who said it can't just be one. It's the entire Browns defense. The defense really, after giving up the long touchdown run to Charles, shut yep. down the offense and Brady Quinn, five sacks on the day, and they were key and instrumental to the success in the win. Only giving up seven points, right. too. But I have to go with Travis Benjamin. Richard Crow agrees with me on Facebook as well. It was really a game changer, I think, and a momentum swing after Jamal Charles scored on that first play of the game. He takes a 93-yard punt back for a touchdown, longest in Browns history, and it really just woke everybody up. And I think he will be the MVP, in my opinion. It and was, Richard Crows, too. It was a big momentum change because I know I talked to some people at the game. They said after that first run, they were like, okay, here we go again. Right. And it really did shift things back on. We move on to our next question. And again, we are still talking with the Browns here. Two games out of the wild card. Can we start <laughs> thinking about playoffs? Did we playoffs. think we would be <laughs> talking about this? I remember, you know, 0-5 to start. Everyone's just down and out on the Browns. They finally get that winning streak, that momentum again that's going, and everybody's buying into the system. And I think for sure it's a possibility of three games left in the schedule that, in my opinion, are winnable. You know, you're two back behind the Steelers and the Bengals for that final spot. You have to play the Steelers. Big Ben, yes, is back, but, you know, he lost last week when he came back. So maybe it's not the same Steelers team. And a big thing, I think, is that the Browns are very, very healthy, which is going in their favor. So... It's a possibility, in my opinion. I'll say it's a possibility, but it's not very likely. You look at the Indianapolis Colts, who pretty much have that one wild card locked up, and now it's kind of a shuffle for that last remaining one. I think Cincinnati has a better chance. And I tend to disagree with you on whether these games are winnable. Washington, a very good Washington team, depending on whether RG3, RG3 plays right? or not. Very explosive team, but Alfred Morris, a great running back for them. So I think that's a tough team to beat. The Denver Broncos, Broncos. I think, are one of the hottest teams in the NFL right now. And with Peyton Manning there at the helm and the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know they're going to be looking for revenge. 100%. I, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's very likely, but it is possible. I and, wouldn't buy the tickets. And, but And Pat Germer trying to save, you know, his job. 53% said no way, Jose. 33% a possibility. And 14% absolutely. I like it. A little bit of optimism it's there. It's Christmas. It could be kind a Christmas miracle. We love it. A Christmas miracle. Or maybe a Festivus miracle, depending on what you, know, you celebrate. I still have hope. Glass half full, okay. in my opinion. Here we go. On to our final word. A new extreme sport involving a trampoline. Check it out. Actually, a little known fact, I oh, actually gosh. invented extreme Shocking. wall trampolining. <laughs> you did. And it's now sweeping the nation, so I'm very proud of these guys. They're not as good as I am oh, when I first okay. started, but they're getting there. We may need to hold you to that, and maybe you'll have to do that for one of your Will's World. It was a Will's World, but oh, it got was it? censored. Um, I know that you did rock climbing. That's kind of close to it. It was strange. It got censored. I, I don't want to get into the details. Well, it's very You're going to have to trampoline for us now, wall trampoline. Down in the I studio, we're going to move everything and watch Will. Special Jump. special episode next time. It doesn't look very safe, so I'll be out of that one. I'll, maybe I'll work the camera okay, that day. There you go. <laughs> Guys, make sure you continue to go to our Facebook page and weigh in with your opinion on what's going on in the Ohio world of sports, let's say. For Ashley Collins, I'm Will Ewick. Peace out, Cub Scout.